Well, what a test match this has been. India on the brink of defeat here at the Oval. England coming into this final day this morning, needing six more wickets for victory and riding the emotion of Alistair Cook's century in his final test match yesterday. India, 3.45 for nine. And Jimmy Anderson needing just one more wicket to go past Glenn McGrath and become the most successful fast bowler in Test Match Cricketing history. And Isabel, what a Test Match this has been. Well, Mark, so much emotion over the last five days. I am not sure we can take much more. We were all in tears when Alistair Cook scored his 100 yesterday. Incidentally, Mark, I feel Cook should now be knighted and become Sir Alistair Cook. And now we have Anderson on the brink of something very special. Mohammed Shami tends to get stuck on the crease. So full and straight, please, Jimmy. Full and straight. Please. What? Well, what words from you there, Isabel, as always, so it is. Jimmy Anderson with the ball in his hands. 563 test match wickets. Mohamed Shami's the man on strike. Anderson runs away from us, coming in over the wicket and bowl Shami! And there it is! Jimmy Anderson overtakes Glenn McGrath to become the most successful fast bowler in test match cricketing history. India. All out for 345, and England have won by 118 runs. And Isabel, what can you say about Jimmy Anderson? Well, Mark, Anderson is England's greatest fast bowler, and this is a phenomenal achievement from him. One thing I have always admired about him is his hair. Whatever the colour, whatever the style, it always looks perfect, and it is lovely that he gets this on record the day his great mate, Alice Cook, retires. Anderson is the master of his art and is also very good at talking. And as we already seen, the, there is a career rating for him on the radio and as a member of an award-winning podcast. But I think he still has a few more test matches up his sleeve. 